Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. As you can see, they we're on a brand new file here, very beginning of the game. Uh, as you might recall, in Bonneton, we did one experiment inside Top Hat Tower, uh, in order to find out, basically, uh, whether you can climb up without using a frog, which you can. Uh, what we're going to do now is experiment a bit outside. There's a couple of things I want to try. Um, before we go into the tower, which I didn't do the first time around. Also, there's Cappy, and she's really cute, and I love her. Anyway, she's on I head now. Woo! <laughs> Alright, so, basically, uh, Bonneton, you have, if you look at the map here, this whole area you can pretty much access no problem. Um, what you're supposed to do is go up here, hit that switch in the middle there with Cappy, and I guess you're over there. First thing I want to try, see if we can get over there without actually hitting the switch. Okay, yeah, probably not. <laughs> Let's just experiment a little bit more. Um, just to be sure. Since, you know, there's no penalty for falling or anything. But, yeah, if we can't do it from... Hmm, let's try on top of the crates if we can. Uh... Oh no, they're too far away, I reckon. I'll, the distance will just ruin the height advantage. Ah, damn it. <sighs> okay, well, I can still try to get over there without touching the bridge, so let, let's see how we go. Yeah, it actually auto-saves when you do that, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't cross that without using the bridge. Uh... Okay, the best you can do is about there, and yeah, that won't be enough by far. Anyway, um, so that's the first thing I wanted to check, whether you can get across without activating the bridge. The answer is no. Uh, unless you use some other kind of trick I don't know about, but with a happy roll jump, it's just way too far. Even though you start so much higher up than where you end up. Which is a bit sad. Um, Alright, so... One of the other things I want to try, you may know that on the back of Top Hat Tower there's actually a door back there. Um, I want to see if I can get around there, from down here. Uh, it may be possible, I'm not really sure. Um, it's kind of far. I mean, it's all the way around this, this rather large tower. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Mm, it was not probable. Um, let's keep experimenting. Uh, Alright, so we've respawned at the beginning here. The bridge is still there. Yeah, you can see there's no way we could make it all the way across there. We'll just get rid of these Goombas so they don't get in our way. Uh, let's try going the other way, see if that gives us a bit more distance. It might, it might not. Uh, no, that, that's just way too far. Alright. Well, it's only been like four minutes, and that's pretty much the experiments I had in mind here. So let's just have a look around and see what else we can find. Uh, down here... Get some coins behind that big poster, if you want. Uh, the layout of Bonneton changes quite a bit when you revisit it after the first part. There aren't any purple coins here to begin with, for example. Uh, there's also... All the doors are blocked off like this, so you can't actually go and get any moons yet. Which, I guess, makes sense. Hmm... It might be possible to, like, roll cancel clip in there. The, I, I believe that the door won't open anyway, even if you do, but... There also should be a ledge down there, which hasn't spawned yet, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know why they bothered with that, because all that's there is just some coins. But... Yep, that sure did happen. Uh, actually, yeah, a lot of stuff's missing. There should be uh, a hat down there in the fog. 
uh, that you can stand on, and then some like invisible blocks to help you get back up, but none of that's there yet, which is interesting. Um, that one's already there, but I don't think we can reach it. Well, maybe we can. Hmm. Maybe. If we, if we throw Cappy from, like, over here somewhere, maybe. Nah, that's too far. Alright. Yeah, you meant to use a, a um, Paragokin butterfly over there. But we can't do that, because they don't spawn yet. Maybe you could try to another sign? Nah, I'm pretty sure that won't work either. It's just too far. There's also, I think, a moon in one of these hills that hasn't spawned yet. A lot of stuff just hasn't spawned yet because it's our first visit. And the Odyssey should be here, but it's not yet because, you know, it's in the next kingdom. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that's pretty much... There isn't a whole lot of stuff to look at at this point, because this kingdom just hasn't really been populated yet. Uh, are you angry at me for hanging out over here and talking to you? Look at those, look at those eyebrows! Angry hat! <laughs> oh, you're a scaredy hat. Oh, do you want a cuddle? I can't give you a cuddle, but I can make you spin around by throwing a hat at you. Yeah, uh, I think there's... Yeah, this this one's over here. Worried about their darling boyfriend. You get to meet the darling boyfriend a little bit later. I guess he's okay. Not a big fan of darling boyfriends myself, but you know. Whatever floats your boater. A boater's a type of hat, that was a joke. <laughs> um... Oh, that's interesting. There's supposed to be a moon inside this hat, but the door isn't even here yet. So you can't get in there, and there doesn't need to be a guard for the door because there's no door. Interesting. Hmm. A couple more hats around here. Um, back here, there, there's, there are purple coins later, but at the beginning, there's a whole bunch of just yellows to reward you for having a look around instead of going directly to the tower, which is kind of cool. Uh, and there will be binoculars here later, but they're not here yet. Uh, yeah, I do. Thank you. This is a tutorial fellow, I guess. Thanks, tutorial hat. Uh, and then you've got another scaredy hat over here. Are you alright, sweetie? Oh. Get it? Because they float? Ah! See, that hat looks just happy about the fact that we're headed up to Top Hat Tower to, to fight the, fight the like, invaders or whatever. Some, some of the hats seem a lot more scared than you. You seem pretty chill about it. Uh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, well, that's about all we can look at outside, I think. Let's head into Top Hat Tower and have a look around inside. I don't remember if I showed this in the previous visit, but once you enter the tower, there is in fact something directly behind you. Uh, there's actually a room up there. Well, not exactly a room, just some stuff up there. Uh, you're supposed to use a frog, obviously, but you don't have to. So let's make our way up there with that one. But, you know, better. I'm not doing it well. There we go. So yeah, just up here, there's gonna be- there are some purple coins up here later on, but at the moment there's just some coin rings. So if you wanted a couple coin rings, you could come here. I wonder. I feel like I'm way too far for this to be at all possible, but let's just see what happens. Yeah, I made it to bonk on this thing, but nowhere near close enough to actually get up here without having to do the tricky jump that I did in the first video. Which is a shame. I was hoping I would just do that first time and it would just be amazing.
Look, it looked really close, but it's probably not that close. Maybe you should just capture a frog, it doesn't really matter in this file, since I'm not bothering who's the other file is the frogless one anyway. Yeah, yeah, let's capture a frog and do it that way. Okay, now we're a frog. Okay, so, yeah, Top Hat Tower, we pretty much saw this in the first video. There's a couple of things to look at. Um, over here there's some coin rings if you want some more coin rings. I'm pretty sure you get up there without actually using a frog, but... Uh, you're stuck in the frog at this point. It makes a little, like, disabled noise when you press, press the, um, uncapture button. Until you actually reach here. Uh, sorry. There. Yeah, you have to have come to basically right here where you need to use Cappy again, or it won't let you exit. Which is a little weird. Um... Hang on, how tall is that? Oh, wow, that is very tall. I was wondering if I could get up there, but that looks incredibly tall. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Let's see here. I don't know, Cappy, destroy it. There we go. There's nothing around the back here by the looks of things. Which is a bit of a shame. It's worth a look. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I believe now that we've done that, it'll actually let us exit the frog whenever we want. Nope. It's still doing that. Interesting. It still disabled the frog exit button. I thought since we'd already done the tutorial it would actually let us exit the frog early, but it doesn't. So that's an interesting limitation, I guess. It very rarely forces you to stay in a capture. Like, the race in, um, Shiveri is basically the only other time I can think of. Uh, here you can just do, like, a long jump. You don't actually even need a cappy roll jump to do that. It's pretty easy. And you can do some dives and stuff to get the actual coin rings if you want. There we go. Okay. Backs up a couple times. There we go. Oops, that's right. I did that wrong. Uh, you have to remember whenever you're trying to climb up some wall that after you've hit, like, kicked off the wall, you cannot do a cat bounce after that. Even if you haven't used your cap bounce yet, it still uses it up. Which is weird. I don't know why it works that way. Theoretically, you'd certainly get one cap bounce in the air, so it could be before or after the wall jump, you would think, but nope. Okay, so here we are at the top of the tower. Uh, this part is directly above where you enter, you can see. Uh, there's the entrance. So the room I was trying to get to, if you come around the side here... Oh yeah, that's the... Um, that's the darling boyfriend worrying about 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 the the their darling. It's very sad. Uh, but yeah, if you come all the way around the back. All the way around. Oh. I guess that's why I couldn't get to it. It's not actually there yet. Uh, there should be a door on the back of the building, like here ish. Uh, like another ledge, but it's not showing up. Yeah, it mustn't, mustn't actually show up until you've already done the first bit, which is interesting. Alright, um... Well, okay, let's head this direction. Uh, there's another one of those cap... Uh, like, moon challenge rooms that you can go into later here. Can't go in there yet. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, 
if you want to do a coinless run, that's pretty much the best way to get up. So that you don't have to actually go past where the coins are and activate them. Um, but yeah, interesting. Okay, so, yeah, the area behind Top Hat Tower I was trying to get to hasn't spawned yet, so... It wouldn't have helped me to get back there, even if I had gotten all the way back there. Um, it's possible that you can just get back there uh, without any trouble, so, I don't know. Anyway, this guy is complete wuss. There you go, easy peasy. And that unlocks the path to the First Kingdom. Uh, I will show up, show up a couple of things in Cascade Kingdom while we're, you know, playing the game again. Um, I'll do a quick first moon skip and then we can have a quick look around. See some stuff. Uh, just like in the Cap Kingdom, most of the doors and things are blocked off here until you get to a certain point. Um, I guess they wanted to funnel you through a bit of a tutorial before they open up and let you explore the game properly. Which I guess makes sense. Oh yeah, I can skip this, that's right. And then the amazing music starts. <laughs> okay, let's do a quick first moon skip. Um, again, I'm on, you know, 1.3, so first moon skip doesn't do anything, but, you know, it's still fun. If I can pull it off. <laughs> There we go, easy peasy. Okay, so yeah, you go up to the Odyssey, it doesn't activate yet, because you didn't do the cutscene. Um, because the cutscene activates when you touch the... Um... The thing. You know the thing I'm talking about. <laughs> there we go. When you, um, get the first moon. First power moon. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um... Let's go get the dinosaur. So yeah, what I want to show off, basically, is the fact that... I don't think I showed this in the previous video. Oops. Not that. <laughs> I'm sure I showed that in the previous video. I do that a lot. Yeah, if we just grab the grab the dino here. Hopefully I can do a proper dino skip this time. I know I can't do the boss battle because I didn't do the first moon, but I should be able to. Yep, there we go. Easy. Okay, so now we're up here. Uh, there's Madame Brood. She won't fight us. I believe I've shown this before. I believe you also go straight through her chain chomp. Yeah. So that's interesting. Um, but what I'm actually up here for is the fact that since we haven't activated Madame Brood, uh, we can go over here. And... We also haven't got our first power moon, is what I, what I meant, actually. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we can come over here... And you can see, uh, there's the bridge that's supposed to fall down. That bridge actually has collision on the top. You can stand up here. Uh, the collision is a little wonky, you can see Mario's sort of floating. But you can just hang out up here if you want. Um, and if you stand still for a little while, he will take a nap here on top of this bridge here that you're not supposed to be able to ever reach the top of, which I think is pretty neat. Uh, just a pretty neat gimmick, I reckon. Um, also this music is so great. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, yeah, First Moon Skip and Dino Skip, I just did both of them. They both work on 1.3. Uh, in my previous video when I was trying to do Dino Skip and it wasn't working, that was just me messing up. Um, they both work fine. If you do it right. So, yeah, um... If you just jump forward from there... That's technically another first moon skip, because I actually went over the wall there. Uh, although you can't see it, of course, because it's invisible. Uh, the gap that you can fall through is just here somewhere. See, Mario's, like, moving a little bit. I think that's because we're 
wobbling around the edges of the hole I need to fall through. Just here somewhere. <laughs> rolling. Actually, I don't think I've been out of bounds in 1.3, so I'm not sure if that works still. I think it probably will, because the rest of the glitches work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, back out of bounds. Uh, I've done this before, you've seen this already. But it's still fun. Uh, so yeah, we can get that moon early if we want. Or we can swim over here. We can go visit the Odyssey if we want. All, these, all that fun stuff. That's different. Did they move the death barriers around back there? I mean, I don't know why they would bother, because you're not supposed to be able to get up there at all. I mean, down there. Like, behind the... You know what I mean. <laughs> That's wild. I need to check that out some more. Let's go. I'm oh, just here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so this is where I died. There was a little ledge here that I used to stand on. Is it still there? I think Cappy just hit it, so there must still, there must still be something there. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Is it a different shape or something? Hmm. No, it looks the same as before. I'm not sure what happened. No, wait. Hang on. Mm. Yeah, it looks about the same as before. It's just... I just felt like swung under it or something. And didn't quite notice. Use where your footprints are to remember where the platform is, which I think is a pretty good trick. I'm aiming for that little tiny piece of, um, whoops, grass that you can see. Okay, so yeah, I think it's about the same as before. It's a little hard to be sure, but I don't think they've actually changed it that much. It just, I just felt like they had because of the way, oop, the way I, um, died unexpectedly. That's just me being bad at video games, that's all. <laughs> There's a point of being bad at video games if you, you know, die out of bounds after breaking out of bounds using a complicated exploit. <laughs> I mean, it's not that complicated, it's just like doing one movement trick to get up here and then just finding the right spot in the ground, but it's kind of complicated, I guess. Alright, uh, the other thing you can do uh, if I can try to pull this off, you can just swim over towards where the Odyssey is and just get yourself up using uh, um, Cap Return Throw, like I'm doing now. There we go. The bonk actually helps though, which is interesting, because usually a bonk ruins everything. Uh, we are now inbounds, sort of. Um, which is a bit annoying because it means we can't try some other out-of-bounds stuff, but we can go into the Odyssey. Um, you can see we're in the back of the Odyssey here, that the window isn't rendered properly because you're not supposed to be able to see it from this side. So you can just sort of look through and see that there's nothing out there. It's interesting. 
See, we're actually out of bounds. We are inside this big hunk of rock here. Even though it looks like we're in bounds. Uh, if we want to get back in bounds, basically we can walk through the wall, or we can go into the Odyssey through the pipe, which is invisible, but is just here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> and we're in the Odyssey. Oh yeah, looking good. <laughs> The Odyssey looks really nice inside, despite being wrecked on the outside. Like, if you head outside... Looks dreadful. <laughs> okay, we're getting to about 30 minutes, so I'm probably getting close to the end of this video, but... just ha I had some fun doing various out-of-bounds junk and experimentation. Which is what this channel... Like, this channel, this, this, like, series on my channel. Everything's on my channel, I need one channel. That's what this series is all about. Just doing silly experiments and seeing what happens. I wonder if I can clip through this rock. Seems like its collision is a bit weird, but I feel like... Hmm. I feel like clipping through it won't help me in any way, because the uh, loading point behind it is probably not there. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. That was absolutely awful. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. There we go. <laughs> Maybe we can make it up there without access to the... Little, like, platforms that are supposed to be there. Maybe, 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 we almost did it, so let me just walk back to the top of the big stump and just experiment a little more. Um, once you've done the boss battle, I believe it is, a bunch of extra ledges and stuff show up underneath the waterfall that you can use to climb up that way. Um, so I'm just gonna see if I can get up there without them. Uh, getting back down would probably be easier, so I'm gonna try up. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> I say as I mess it up. But yeah, that's totally doable. Uh, I just need to do it better. I'm using the warp because otherwise I'd have to do another first moon skip to get back up. Which would be less than ideal. I'm not really sure why they force you to go around the other way. There's not a whole lot you miss by going this way. Like, you miss that little bridge with the with the spiky guys on it? That's about it. See? Easy. It's totally doable. But yeah, it just leads to this spot, which is just where you get to if you come around the other way. I don't really understand the point of that misdirection around. It seems a bit pointless. Hello, spiky friends. Phew! Happy. Also, you're supposed to break this with the chain jumps, but there's no reason to, like, ever. Because you can just go around on that side, or you can just jump over this thing. I mean, I suppose, like, if you were sort of a first try player and you wanted to try out what the captures do, you could use the chain jumps to break this stuff, but I, I don't think I ever have. <laughs> Maybe in my first playthrough, I don't remember. It was a while ago. The ledge here. Uh, it's hard in it if you wanted a heart. You could tell that it's there because of the rumble, um, which you can't see, obviously. Um. Actually, there's another one of those um, rocks that go away when you beat the boss over here. There's a door behind there that isn't showing up yet. There's a whole lot of those. 
I'm really not sure why they did it that way, apart from they wanted the boss to be mandatory in this area, I guess. But... I don't know why the boss had to be bad, the tree. Um, it would have worked just fine if you just had to collect moons the normal way. You have to have written the dialogue in the in the rematch fight a little bit differently, but you know that's not a big change. It's pretty easy. Hmm. Um, and there's another one of those doors over here as well. That one, which we can't get into because we haven't. Uh, done story moons. <sighs> so, um, yeah, that's about it for this. Whoop. Oh no! Oh no, I got first moon unskipped! <laughs> I'll see another quick first moon skip um, while I sign off, I guess. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. I did some stuff in Bonadon, I did some stuff in uh, Fossil Falls, I messed up a first moon skip just then. Come on, I did it earlier, it was easy. There we go. Easy peasy. Um, and yeah, I had some fun, and um, confirmed some stuff works on 1.3, because I hadn't actually done a dino skip for 1.3 yet, so it's nice to know that they work. Um, and you could even use them to skip to where the boss isn't. Um, I'm sorry, I was joining there. What I, said, what I mean by that, um, the boss activation trigger is a bit bigger than the ledge you actually have to land on. You can end up like, um, I can't really point out a spot, but if you're like, if you're about to bonk into the wall like here-ish, it will still actually work. Uh, where my, um, quit icon is basically, just here. Yeah, if you bonk into the wall there, it will still activate the boss. So even though, like, you didn't actually make it high up enough, it still works. Uh, but even if the boss isn't being activated, it's still not very hard to actually dive up there using the dino skip the normal way, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> Gosh, I love this game. <sighs> well, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope I managed to get enough new stuff in this video for it to be worth watching, because, I mean, a lot of the stuff I did, I did in previous videos, but... You know, I tried to try to put a bit of a spin on it, some new stuff. Um, oh, oh, invisible wall! <laughs> oh my goodness, I have to do the skip again just because I messed it up. Before I finish the video, I have to do it again. There we go. See, the skip is really, really easy. It's kind of hilarious that it hasn't been patched. I mean, I'm glad it hasn't been patched. I like being able to do it, but it's it's hilariously easy. <laughs> I mean, there's another spot where some stuff changes. Um, it's like floating platforms that appear between where I'm standing and that skull up there, so you can climb up. But they don't show up until you do the boss, so you actually have to go a different way the first time, either with Dino Skip or by going through the 2D area. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and next time, hopefully, I'll have some more original ideas for, for experiments, because, like, half this video is stuff that I already did at the beginning of the series. Um, yeah. Anyway, I like this game, and I like doing things in this game while talking about them, so, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the deal. There's... Stand on this T Rex. There we go. <laughs> oh, well, the animation doesn't affect the hitbox. Mario just goes through. That's an interesting glitch or oversight or whatever. I guess they figured you wouldn't want to stand on the T Rex head. <laughs> but I wanted to stand on the T Rex head. I want to have a nap on the T Rex head. That's why I'm letting Mario just stand there for a while, because if I do that, he'll take a nap. As you can see. Good night, Mario. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. <laughs>